Okay, what's next? Oh, I think I think this is Rage Art. Okay, okay, okay. So we punch him up into the air. There's a combo. Electricity. That's so sick. Wait, what? Is that Naruto? What's up, everyone? It's your boy Gil here, and I hope you're having a nice day. At this point, you have probably already watched the Lars Tekken 8 trailer. And if you got confused thinking it was maybe Ultimate Ninja Storm 2 footage, um, I mean, you would be forgiven because... Lars has never looked this anime before, and that's one of the main reasons I'm so excited about the trailer today. It further confirms my suspicion that this might be the second game where Lars gets to remove his weighted anime clothing and just go entirely wild. Uh, so let's just talk about some observations that I noticed, some things I'm excited about, some things I'm maybe a little bit worried about, but of course uh, I haven't played the game. And let's just get into it. So first thing first, Tekken 8 looks way better than Tekken 7, as it should. Uh, in particular, I really appreciate the new facial animations, the new facial rigs. Um, it's super apparent if you directly compare uh, Lars's intros and outros to his Tekken 8 intros and outros. And, in, and also, I want to bring extra attention to this new intro that he has here where he slides in. I really hope we get to see that during versus matches. We, we should. And we've already noticed the um, updated details of how the faces move during the Paul and Law trailers, but I think Lars looks the very best so far. As a quick aside, I just noticed on Twitter that the Tekken 8 battle director, Kohei Ikeda, uh, he wrote this, Rapid acceleration is the key word for this week's character, Lars Alexanderson. No blinking allowed. So just think about the phrase, rapid acceleration as we talk about the rest of the trailer and see how much it fits or maybe it doesn't as i've mentioned earlier this looks like the tekken 8 where lars is finally going to take off the weighted clothing and you can see that in more ways than one uh first of all visually this dude has lightning coming everywhere from out of his shoes from his hair from his butt <laughs> it's just like almost every move as an additional like lightning trail, which just really sells the character being like super powerful at this point. Speaking of being super powerful, it looks like the developers gave Lars some new enders to some strings, some strings that used to only have a mid ender, like uh, here, for example, while standing two, three, I believe, which in Tekken 7 only has to ender while standing two, one, which is the and then the second hit is a counter hit launcher. It looks like he now gets a high off of it, which is very reminiscent. It's almost basically the same animation as his uh, down back one three. But then it looks like his hell sweep also has high ender now instead of just the mid ender. Uh, it the usual command is forward forward four three. It's just the two kicks, and now he gets this like additional swipe that he can do after the first uh, low kick, which very much looks like a high. And this makes a lot of sense with the balance trajectory that Tekken 7 had where they add a lot of high ending or mid ending strings to strings that lacked those before just to add to the mix ups. Of course, who knows if they're fuzzyable, but it's definitely probably gonna make Lars uh, just scarier with the schmix ups. I'm very happy that Lars still has this insanely cool back four counter hit animation. Uh, it's Maybe not the very best counter hit move in Tekken 7, but it looks so sick. He knees you in the stomach, then he lifts you up, and it looks like the animation is almost identical in Tekken 8, which I don't blame him because he can't improve on perfection. Stomp fans rejoice. It looks like Lars will be stomping more than ever before. It looks like his uh, stomp that usually only works when people are on the ground can now be done as a move out of one of his stances. Lars wouldn't be Lars if he didn't mix you up with his orbital or down back four by the way we haven't seen down back four in this trailer maybe it's gone um but he still has his orbital who knows if it's still super slow on whiff recovery if it's still uh slow on just startup maybe it's the copium but it looks like in this clip like it's actually faster than in tekken 7 but who knows and of course that might change by the time that the game actually comes out from the point on in the trailer where they're fighting in Times Square, they show off a lot of his heat stuff. Let's go over a few rapid observations. It looks like Silent Entry 1 is one of his heat engagers, which is a really cool and fitting with the animation choice in my opinion. In Tekken 6, he also had this move called Mjolnir out of Dynamic Entry, which was this big mid launcher, which was only minus 10 on block. But in Tekken 7, he didn't have it anymore. I'm not sure if he had it in Tag 2, 
but I'm sure there's a Lars fan in the comments that does know the answer. Looks like the Tekken 8 developers missed that move too and made it his heat burst. My main question is if this time it's also exclusively locked behind dynamic entry, like his Rage Drive in Tekken 7. My guess is that that is still the case. Also, as we've learned from the mechanics overview video, being in heat... <laughs> also, as we've learned from the mechanics overview video, being in heat state, all your attacks on block will generate recoverable HP, but also passively improve some aspects of your character. Right here, we see the swiping low come out of silent entry, I believe, which, which then has this crazy upwards lightning elbow follow-up. I first thought that this might only happen on counter hit, but when we slow down the footage, I don't think Kazuya pressed anything. Last but not least, his Rage Art. There are a lot of similarities with this Rage Art and his Ninja Storm Super, which I think is pretty neat. It's definitely one of the cooler ones shown off so far, but it doesn't usurp Kazuya's number one position in, in my opinion. So at this point, the only trailers left so far are for Jack, 8, and John Kazama. Who do you think we'll see next? My money is personally on Jack 8 and then Jun Kazama over Evo Japan Weekend. I do hope to see some newcomers sooner than later, but I'm sure it's only a matter of time at this point. My name has been Gil, and I hope you enjoyed the video. Subscribing and commenting help out a lot, so if you want to receive a luck buff for the remainder of the week, please consider subscribing. Thanks, and take care everyone.